Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about an upcoming event in August. It's the Queen Anne's County Fair and this is the 72nd annual fair. It's August 11th through the 16th. And I'm here with Ann Schnappinger today and she is the Queen Anne County All-Stars Chairperson and she's going to tell us about some events that the, um, go on at the fair that you might not know about and that you might want to come and see. And the first one is the opening ceremonies. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, opening cer ceremonies is on Monday night, and Monday night is set aside for the youth of the 4-H. Okay. And most of the things that happen center around the youth in the county. And we start at the horse ring with the, um, with the horses doing a presentation, and then we have the wagons present the um, ambassadors around the ring, okay. and then they parade around behind the band. The, the Queen Anne's County High School Band comes and does their oh, first performance okay. of the year on Monday night. And so they lead the parade around to the main show nice. pavilion. So this goes around the whole park. Goes then. around the whole park. And then when we get to there, then the ambassadors have their time to talk and share and welcome everybody to the fair. Tell, tell us about the ambassadors, because I, I know that's another program that you handle and that's part of the, the fair stuff. Tell us what they are exactly. Well, it all kind of fits into both um, the fair and the year of, of 4-H, because okay. each club chooses an ambassador, and the ambassador is to both highlight 4-H and their club. Right. So they're asked at the fair to spend, to take maybe two to three minutes and tell us a little bit about and what so their club does. they have to does. get up in front of they everybody. Have to get up in front Ooh, of that's everybody. that's a public speaking thing. <laughs> it is. It is. And so they share what their club does and what they do specifically. Okay. And hopefully it encourages some of the people that are there at the fair for the first time and don't know about 4-H right. to learn a little bit about 4-H, which is what we're all about. And then what about the All-Stars? The All-Stars is an honorary organization, and um, you don't have to have been um, a 4-H'er, but you need to have done service to 4-H. Okay. And so you're asked, it's not something that automatically happens, um, you're asked to come in and then we become part of the group and we give service to the program, okay. both in the county and in the state and actually nationally sometimes. Oh wow, okay. So. And, I, I, and I might be wrong on this, don't the All-Stars run a a booth at the fair. Do they do the lemonade? Is we did it for uh, a couple of years. Okay. But we, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, we knew did. That, I knew that there was something we there. Did, so. We did that for a couple of years. Okay. Yeah, we, we were helping out the club because their kids showed on Wednesdays. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So. Okay, and then um, two other things. There's a cake auction. Tell us about that. Okay, the cake auction. <laughs> Food always gets everybody's attention. Uh, well, and it's it's a <laughs> wonderful cake auction. Um, it, it, we, we've built it up to where it really, the, the kids are able to really succeed by doing. All that are auctioned are blue ribbon cakes. Okay. Um, and the kids get 25% of their sale price oh, back. Okay. So that they can use that for their materials that right. they used for the cakes or whatever. Um, and, we, and they're asked to try and get some of their friends or their parents' to friends to come to bid, bid but we also, the banks and, and, and organizations in the community ver support that. And Largely. are these the cakes that they enter in for right. ribbons? Because mm -hmm. last year I did judge. Mm -hmm. um, I had the little kids cakes, um, and I was one of the judges. And I have to say, I was so impressed with the quality of the cakes that they Some did. Some of them are really good. And that's where it starts. They, right. they enter them in, and then if they're fortunate enough to win a blue ribbon, then, then they come to us, the All-Stars. Okay. And then we, we do a sheet and have it all ready for Monday night for the auction okay. year. And um, I, I we would, sell about 20 cakes. Yeah, I would say people need to come out and see the cakes because it's just amazing what these kids do. And and we're talking little kids yep. up to teenagers. Yep. So if they start at nine. They, yep. I think I think some are eight, but not very often do we get a blue right. ribbon cake at eight. But at nine we do. Yep. And then up through the through their eighteen when yep. they're eighteen in, in January. And so. then there's one other thing: the T-shirt contest. What is that? Well. Um, this was started a long time ago by the extension office and with all the things they have to do with the fair, they didn't really have time. So we sort of took it over because we just kind of think it's kind of neat to, to encourage the kids. Right. And so there are some rules, and um, but anybody can enter, and it's to it's to promote the fair. And then um, they're due the end of May, okay. um, the 1st of June, and then they're judged. And then I take 
the cha grand champion, and it's currently being made into a T-shirt, which our ambassadors will be Get wearing. Get out of here! So their shirt, mm -hmm. so whoever their wins poster, the contest mm -hmm. goes on the shirt, the and, shirt. Mm -hmm. and all the ambassadors will have it on on Monday night. Oh wow! And then I'll have a few extras that I to sell. Uh huh. So. Um, I think I can probably tell you. I think the letter is probably out. But Julia Smith was the grand champion this year. So. Donna Smith's daughter. Yes. Get yes, out of here. Yes, oh, yes, how cool! Yes, how cool! Yes. So her poster will be on the po on the shirts this year. So. Oh, that's wonderful. I think I I probably okay with time wise. Yeah, on that. and and yeah. I think the letters okay. have gone. <laughs> There's a lag time. Well, there, that so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it won't be tonight that it'll be on. Right. So. Right. Oh, <laughs> but that's she wonderful. Have her and she she's. What is she? She's an intermediate. Yeah, she's yeah, she's yeah. and not she's and she has done a poster every year. So it's, okay. it's kind it's kind of neat and 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 we've watched that there is there are several several youth that every year I and I go to right away to look and see what their poster looks right. like. You because, can see the changes yes, as they get yes. older. How much they improve. Like this year we had some, you know, that were the the the, the uh, seven year olds and they're like the, the scribblies. And right. so you imagine and I down the road it'll be beautiful posters right. that they produce. Wonderful. So. Okay, so the ambassadors will be wearing those. So again um, the opening ceremonies start what time on Monday night? Seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. The band actually starts at six forty five. Okay. So but everything else one other thing, can I mention uh -huh, one other thing? Sure. The pretty animal contest. Oh, yes. I don't I, know if somebody else is talking nope, about nope. that or not. Okay. Well, we're we're always glad. They don't the animals do not have to be on the grounds. They just have to have their papers like when they come to the gate. Right. But it, but if they come and I think it's Thursday night. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking you're right. I, I think I've uh, memorized most of the I think schedule. I should have well, looked that up. We have the website up there, so they can take a look at that. And we would love, they do not have to enter ahead of time. Right. They can, but they don't have to. They just need to bring us a short script. Okay. So that it can be read while the, while the youth and the animals and they and parade, the, parade they around parade in the main around? show ring. Yeah. Nice. And they're judged also. Okay. So. And are the animals dressed? Do they? Yes, they need to dress them up. Yeah, okay. they need to dress them up some way or the other. All right. We've had hot dogs. We've had clowns. We've had ballerinas. We've had a little bit of everything. And a couple of the clubs do a whole club thing, oh. and so it's a story. Okay. So they produce a, produce a story. The goats usually do every year because they they stay all week, and so okay. they write the story while they're there, and then. Uh, come in and, and dress up and, and do that. Well, so. and that's something the whole family can enjoy. It is. So. It's a fun time. Yep. It's a fun time. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And again, the fair is August 11th through the 16th. And, you know, I hope they come out, people come out and see these events and see the cakes and the t-shirts and everything else. Me too. Thank you very much for having us. You're welcome. For putting this on. Don't forget to come to the Queen Anne's County 4-H Fair in Centerville, August 11th through 16th. It's fun for the whole family.